You may still be stuck in this pandemic, but people are still moving and buying homes at a record pace. So tonight, buyer beware. Right now, scammers are actively working online to get the money of those looking for a place to call home. News source Kim St. Nodge is watching out for you, alerting you to those red flags. Kim? Sam, apartments.com, this website right here, this is one of the most popular websites if you're looking for rental properties. The scammers know it and they're going here too. They're hoping that they can make a convincing post and fool at least one person. Despite the first sale sign outside Ashley Boothramavage's St. Anne home, more than a dozen of the calls she's gotten have been about renting it. It really came to my attention at the open house when I had five or six people show up and just leave because they thought it was... A rental. It started, she says, after someone tipped her off to this post on apartments.com. The poster saying his family relocated to Pennsylvania to do mission work and listed the property as a rental for 550 bucks a month. That's about half what it would go for in, in that area. The first red flag. As a realtor herself, she says this was another red flag. The application the scammer sent to someone asked bizarre questions like, do you work late at night? What's the personality of your pet? And wanted family pictures. He wasn't asking for money. He was just asking for information. So, you know, that's kind of leads me to believe like identity theft, maybe. I called him myself and got this user busy message. The Better Business Bureau says rental scams have increased in the last year. Scammers will concoct elaborate stories uh, to try to get you to believe that they are who they say they are. And they do this all day long. Uh, it's a job for them. A recent report by the BBB finds about 43% of people searching for a rental property will come across a scam. Of those, an estimated 15% will fall for it. Ashley says be careful with how much information you give out. They're not going to need any more than your name and phone number to book, you know, to schedule a meeting uh, up at the property or, you know, they would have an open house at the property a lot of times. All right, so Ashley says she called St. Louis County Police to report this and was basically told they really can't do much and it's very difficult to catch these scammers. Tonight, though, police telling me you should still file a report if you think you're a victim of one of these rental scams. The BBB says also file a report with them on their scam track tracker and the Federal Trade Commission. Again, they want to make sure that they know exactly how many of these are going on. Reporting live, Kim St. Ange, News 4.